everyone, welcome to the first day Fun Bridge Points tournament. That means that we're going to play 10 boards with Imp scoring almost 450 players at this moment. Less than five hours left till the end of the tournament. And we start with a balanced hand, 20 high card points with possible six honor tricks. Four aces must upgrade this hand because if partner has any kings or well, minor queens, then uh, the chance of in scoring those honor tricks increases significantly. Uh, with any king, it's a sure trick. And you know, for three no trumps making, you actually need standardly seven honor tricks plus two land tricks, if you can establish that. Uh, very often, if you are balanced, you might only establish one and therefore you will need 8 tricks, uh, which includes some finesses with jacks, 10s, uh, but only one small card. Here we have possibly chances to establish a club or a diamond, but very often it's that partner might have a um, 5 card suit, for example, and then you might get 2 length tricks. So imagine, if you want to get 9 tricks and 2 you might get for length, 7 for honors, well, with the finesses, if we score the queens, we've got six. One king might be actually enough um, for us to make Freno. Uh, that's just how uh, how bridge works, because bridge is a game of tricks. Uh, yet, in the bidding, uh, we tend to bid based on high card points, which is some kind of the, let's say, statistical number of... Um, how many you need uh, to make certain amount of tricks but the correlation between high card points and tricks um, are like not that easy because it pretty much depends on the distribution as well uh, but with balanced hands it works uh, quite well so we open to no standardly uh, yeah standardly four points kind of equal uh, one trick if you don't count uh, the length so uh, let's see four club tricks that's what we want to score uh, one diamond trick is five now we got two hard tricks that's seven two spade tricks um, are kind of guaranteed so this should be pretty easy actually uh, to make because either we get an extra spade trick or uh, we find the club Let's cash one, eight, and a two. Doesn't look that clubs splits four one. Yeah, uh, based on the cards they play, uh, it's impossible because Arjun from four small, or if he has at least like two small cards, not including the nine or the jack um, or the 10, then uh, she will play the second lowest. 2 is the lowest, so I expect East to have 3, and uh, high-low means even number of cards, so West is likely to have 2 clubs. We're going to play the Spade Finesse, and again watch the count here, 7 and a 4, it's the same story as before, Spades are not splitting here, 3-3, three, three. Um, there can be a Doubleton King, Though I'm more like expecting that West will drop, uh, West will drop a doubleton nine or a ten, and that East has king, ten, seven small. If that's the case, we see the eight and a six. So how I'm going to play to gain an extra trick is to cross to the queen. Of clubs and play the jack of spades because that needs to be covered and now the nine or ten drops and because the seven is out there is only one higher spade and I have still an entry to the club so this way uh, reading east-west signals about count uh, we can get an extra trick see that discarding the seven just for the signal uh, gave away uh, the trick which potentially could be the wall contract so guys, don't do that, and if 
it's actually better to signal the other way around so low card is even number and high card is odd number because if you have three cards you can afford to discard a high one because it's not going to score a trick in the fourth round right and third round very often still it's an honor round while fourth the seven of spades would be um, quite a key card in this situation right now we had nine tricks but it's always nice to score an extra one especially in match points i think this will be quite huge to win 10 tricks instead of nine see that's what's uh reading if east plays the two no matter even if i know that uh, what's their count and also from doubleton it's better to play a low one to keep the nine tens and stuff um i will not have a chance to score an extra trick so uh, that would work uh, way better majority of players uh, reached 3 no see nine tricks if this would be match points i will have 90 percent score uh, but unfortunately not still frames is a good start diamond pass pass and we have again a balanced hand but a five card suit possibly on the best case scenario we can uh, get five honor tricks plus two length tricks but very likely we need to sacrifice one honor in clubs and we need the finesse uh, working yet the idea here uh, or correlation between high card points and uh, honor tricks kind of works 15 divided by four is around four tricks two aces guaranteed one club is free and one queen pro pro probably scores a trick so that's four the rest extra hard tricks needs either partner to have some honors uh, and playing the finesse but we hope to establish two hard tricks the better the suit it is the easier it is to establish the length tricks okay so right now we just bid a heart partner bids two hearts uh two three four five five plus one i would need a lot from partner and um, this is the weakest race partner could could make oh shortness and a full cut fifth with king queen well that's definitely not that bad i'm losing three tricks from top but with a full card fit and a shortness at least bit three hearts not just one okay this is um not good still it's not like guaranteed although i can afford to rough high yeah i think i can just um, do that although i could establish a diamond trick and discard a spade so there was uh, not a necessity but i'm playing in two and if i lose a trick just because i was sloppy uh, i don't mind that much okay now i just draw the trumps and easy 10 tricks i mean i could have invited but i don't expect partner to cover me four losers uh with one heart two heart race one heart two heart suddenly it should be two already three honors or covering potentially three losers which is king queen for sure and a shortness is suddenly one and you still you have uh some extra potential because shortness with a full card fit often covers two um and provide control with establishing the side suits so definitely a wrong bid from north here and um, expected five and plus because if i invite it i guess partner will accept uh, doubling hoping that partner bits are hard what will happen if you double and partner bits a spade um now you bit two hearts i don't think that this is certainly a good approach uh but this is, this is a robot um how they bid and things based on uh high cards just uh, doesn't really work greatly balanced 18 high card points uh, three aces and a lot of middle cards which are hard to evaluate with the standard methods 
Um, let's see. So ace and a queen is close to two tricks. So one and uh, three quarters. So altogether, this is three and a half, four and a half, and uh, half for the jacks. So it's like five tricks, but only one possible length trick. Um, in general, with Funbridge, I don't like to downgrade the, the hands. But this is um, on the edge, even with expected honor tricks. Guys, if you don't know what's expected honor tricks, you can just have a look at milanbridge.com. Uh, definitely worth to look at the advanced methods, how to evaluate your hand. Uh, see that there are plenty of various options, but the key is theoretical losers. If you are unbalanced or a goulash hand, which is hand types and suit patterns, this is absolutely essential. In each lesson, uh, you will have a video uh, with explanation uh, and Six uh, you can add subtitles and stuff. Uh, you have the key points of uh, each lesson and also uh, like an overview. You can browse um, among the lessons and stuff and see how the real value uh, corresponding to the tricks works and more importantly how you can upgrade uh, your hand with combinations of honors because this is uh, where high card points doesn't uh, actually count with that. So for sure worth it also spending a couple of euros for that and you can uh, join them for free uh, with uh, the bridge logic seminars uh, which i think is handy for all the players okay so right now uh, we showed 1819 uh, partner asked for spades we have a free card now partner is trying for a slam i give a control um, but I'm not like super excited about my hand. Uh, we play 1430 key card. That's it. Partner made a decision. But I don't think that my hand is actually good to play in spades. I have like zero possibilities to rough and I prefer West to lead any suit towards me. Now partner is declaring. So I'm betting six, six no trumps. So there should be same amount of tricks for both contracts. See, and this is actually why I did that. Uh, now what I need, hearts are good. Now I get an extra club trick. So not that uh, I need it. I need the spade finesse to be on or, and not or, both uh, the diamond finesse to be on. I cannot win without spades. So what I can do is actually crossing with a spade and then with a hard back. Maybe there is a singleton queen of spades and I will try to finesse in the second round. I like the two because then uh, spades might split. Here comes an eight. So there is a seven and a nine. Those are bad small cards for guessing if there is potentially a doubleton queen uh, with east. Okay, so now it's guaranteed. They play a club through. And it's based. It's based on a diamond finesse, which would be exactly the same if we are going to play in spades. Um, so we actually didn't lose anything. This was a bit better than 50-50 chance. Because the diamond finesse is 50. We don't have any more information about the strength because we had too much uh, east for sure didn't have the opening. Okay, so West discarded all the clubs because 10 was the high club. 
and I'm not very happy about that yeah that means that the king is offside quite a pity that neither spade or um, diamond was on if we combine chances it seems like it's 75 percent but we needed uh, we needed a split as well if the finance is on like four spades with West so this was a little bit less but still around 70 percent chance slam and those who didn't reach it just got extra 13 um, which statistically is actually um, not that good 70 percent chance slam is uh, pretty a good one okay just uh, let's have a look for space they don't get a rough diamond lead maybe if you jump and then you play the spade finesse you can go two down okay one hard now we have a semi balance hand with a six card suit still uh, five primary losers and the queen of spades um, well might be finesse probably not drop um, might be discarded also on a hard so this looks quite well for a club slam because then we can establish the hearts but for that we need we need a club fit and partner shows a minimum so right now free no looks better and free no we want to play from the side uh, which has hopefully uh, the stopper in our weakest suit and that's diamonds okay so diamonds are absolutely perfect uh, I'm happy that I'm declaring from north and we are going to establish clubs for sure um, we can use the spade queen as an entry to north and then spades back just in case something bad happens in clubs okay five eight okay I'm playing the queen and that's it unless they play a hard oh bastards the jack of diamonds was really good and I had nine of clubs didn't drop so that's a pity okay I have to win this one they did well because now I didn't have a chance to unblock the ten of diamonds to discard the heart the game is not over but I don't think that there is a chance that we score the two of diamonds uh, for a squeeze here comes one diamond but I don't really need I don't need to watch much because this is either that the queen of hearts will appear and if not I will try the two of diamonds to win a trick it's as simple as that close enough but again an imps not a big difference see that some players actually made 11 tricks and there is no difference in imps at least in this stage of the tournament it can change and one over trick is usually one imp but if it is slack in between uh, it might not because you need 20 points difference and it could be 15 from both sides 21 balanced 2, 4, 5 uh, 6 honor tricks Or round six which is good enough to open uh, two no trump strong so you can just remember that 12 14 is a little bit more than three 15 17 is a little bit more than four or four is an absolute minimum 18 20 is five and 2022 20, is or 2023 20, is six and um, 23 plus is seven it all depends uh, how the the honors are combined 
including uh, at the end the length. The card play here is pretty easy. We sacrifice an honor to establish length tricks. Uh, the rest is caching winners and sacrificing one more. So see two very easy techniques uh, which are like a part of an uh, essential knowledge uh, for the card play course. Uh, this is what I'm working on right now. So it starts for the beginners caching winners, that's what's in hearts, sacrificing honors, establishing spades and clubs, uh, establishing length tricks, that's playing the club suit as soon as possible, drawing trumps, roughing, uh, finessing, uh, we don't need to use yet. Okay, I don't need entries there. Um, wait. Actually, um, still fighting for one extra trick so I need what do I need I will catch those clubs and it can be the spade spade diamond squeeze so I want them actually to win to win a spade but only if nah, I don't think that we have a chance Okay, so it's eight. One diamond, two diamonds, three diamonds, and only one spade. Okay. Yeah, well, Diamond 7, not going to win the trick, unfortunately. Uh, almost there, uh, but this couldn't just work. Um, 10 tricks, same story as before. I got even one extra trick, because they didn't establish um, probably the Diamond tricks, because they've got two aces and possible two Diamond tricks. See, this works uh, for the opponents as well. Uh, this counting of tricks because two aces are two short tricks and a potential tempo to establish their length tricks. The strategy is all the time the same in no trumps. You just try to lead your longest suit and establish the length tricks. Sometimes actually it's that everyone uh, has some honors, nobody has uh, a good length so that would need a passive lead and wait for the honors but most often it's the fight who will establish the length tricks first. Okay, so right now I have extra, we are game forced, so I'm going to race my partner, and uh, he's got... he's got a hard fit, but I would need ace of spades or shortness. Well, 5-3, I could dump the club, so actually my hand is not absolute rubbish, but I would need ace, ace, king, queen. It's only 13, so there was a chance for a slam here. Okay, see, so partner's got the necessary, but instead of the king of clubs, if he just has uh, the king of spades, then um, six diamonds would be an excellent contract. Uh, right now we have to lose two spade tricks. So easy. Yeah, I can actually score the diamond seven here, but I'm not playing for it. Oh wait, yeah. I forgot. The trumps can break badly. Do they? Oh, they do. Then I have to lose one more trick. So actually it was good for them to play three rounds. Uh, I didn't... By talking I didn't realize that maybe I should have roughed uh, with the south hand because then it would be easy to finesse the fourth jack. Um, yeah, I don't think that I have a chance here. So I just give them one trick. Yeah. 
if we are going to play a slam, then diamond slam would definitely be, be better. But on a game level, 4 major pays more than 5 minor, even if you make one less trick. I lose an imp because I was sloppy and I missed an over trick here. 6 diamonds, wow, 10 players made it. So 1 no free clubs and now they have to find a lead from the king of spades. Yeah, well that's tough. Club lead is uh, or a singleton hard is reasonable, so I cannot blame them. Well, it was pretty much gambling, uh, but it worked. So one spade and we have 11 count, but guys, look, balanced hand, full card fit, absolutely useless, because now the jack of spades, well, if we have a full card fit, uh, the jack doesn't actually has any value. If we are missing the queen, the queen can drop. If partner has the queen, the four spade is useless and the jack of spades is kind of useless. What do we need? What we would need is actually a side four card which we can establish. Now we can't. We don't have an outside ace or outside king. So although we will have 25 high card points, it's pretty sure that we're going to miss four aces and kings. So if that's the case, this will be at best on a finesse. Uh, so we need partner to have extra. So only bet two spades and be very careful with this. Okay, partner is 5422. Still, we have three tricks which we have to lose from the start, and it is based on a finesse. Yeah, well, unfortunately, this way the finesse works. Too bad I'm losing another another bunch of imps. But it's uh, mainly, well, because partner has a great combination. Uh, for my two weakest suits, he has two doubletons. If he has a free card anywhere, then uh, even the diamond finesse will be not enough. So now I decided not to play the 50% game. And I will lose... I guess 8 imps, because people see 11, they bid 11. Now full card fit is a little bit useful, because I can rough the 4th uh, round of diamonds. Or not, see? So now the 4th trump is useless. Um, this is like a reasonable hand evaluation, yet Barton doesn't have like a complete minimum and it worked. We were missing ace king, king king and a queen so I was kind of right. Still we're going to miss eight because people just bid more. Uh, maybe I should have bid as well but I wanted to get some plus because if the game will be not on look how many people will go down again 50-50 Finesse. I don't think that we have like another chance. This is uh, strictly based on a finesse. So in slam it didn't work for us, and in this game it also didn't work work for us. Uh, but it could simply be the other way around, because mine at hundred we will gain like six, uh, while the others will lose uh, five or something like that. Um, same story. I was on on a bad side in both boards. 13 count balanced, uh, yeah, For, uh, okay, not bidding anymore. We know where the queen of hearts is, but I just have to lose it, guys, you know. I will show my count and hope that partner has a trick somewhere. Three discards. One. Two. 
three. Who's got the ace of spades? Yeah. East does. So I guess not much we could do. Oh, okay, I could do way more. Playing the jack of spades, actually. Because Declare doesn't have the tempo. He has only five club tricks. One spade is six. He can establish two diamond tricks, but he doesn't have a tempo. Uh, yeah, so I would need to switch with the jack of spades immediately, which, um, yeah, to be honest, like playing for north, having that many spades and only with the king maybe actually see freno going down we understand that since we have five tricks to cash so again uh, we were short same bidding they just end up freno so I mean this is not fair This is like absolutely not fair, uh, just because I've, I have a different setup or what. So this seven imps is just stolen. So obviously not my day with the luck. I'm sh I'm on the short side, <laughs> both sides. Pity. Okay, one diamond pass. Six card suit with two, four, five and a half losers. Clubs can be discarded on diamonds. If partner has five, we just need ace, king, ace, and we might have a grand. Two hearts here, sixteen. Sorry, two spades is sixteen plus, and that's what um, I will bid. Partner has uh, spades, so I bid four clubs, but I would like partner to keep bidding. Now we know about the control. I hope they will lead a hard. So I'm going to ask actually. Two aces without the queen. I'm taking the risk. Because it will be based on a finesse. Maybe two finesses. Okay, not at all. Partner has nuts. I'll discard both clubs. So this is only about guessing the spades. Okay, I misguessed. That's what it is. But luckily, I didn't get the club lead. Uh, so, pretty easy slam here. Uh, let's see how much I got. 5 M's. Okay, reasonable. 12 M's difference. I wonder how many players got all the boards right. Because almost every single board is like a swing. Okay, there were a couple of boards which were um, averages, like the board one, board five, uh, board four, three times three, no, otherwise it was swings. Diamond two spades, we've got a stopper, but otherwise the values are too slow. Partner doubled third level. They raised three. Partner has void in spades. Therefore, he must be really strong doubling there. But what can we do? Can we make a game? Opponents are vulnerable. Can we beat them? They can have shortnesses. If Partner has. 5440, that would be bad, but if partner has a 6 card, 7, then uh, Freno actually has a good chance. Oh, partner has a singleton. This was raised with a doubleton. Oh, I like this. 3, 6, 7, 8. I have to play the diamond finesse. So I'm going to win the first trick. 
and play the diamond finesse. Nine. Four. Seven, eight. It's only eight. So I will play the queen first. Oh, jack dropped. What was this nine? super strange how they are playing this first they didn't play a spade then they did and they didn't win a trick Again, I could have finessed twice. Did he just duck? He didn't have the ease of hearts. He just had King Jack in spades. Why West play the nine? Did he just play the jack from King Jack Doubleton? Ah. Oh. <laughs> like, could he? Because he didn't have an entry. And I mean, did he really have only five points for bidding there? I don't know. Oh, really? I mean, this is uh, this is just bananas. Okay, I won the trick anyway. Because he couldn't discard the diamond. But why did he play the nine of diamonds? No swing. Free spades, 500, 800. They say it's two down because, well, this race, ace, ace, king. So they lose all the club tricks. Okay, three, four, five, six from top. And maybe we can uh, get something good, like diamond, shorten them up, so they don't establish the club. Ah, that can work. Oh, this tournament was really strange. I don't know, interesting deals, but didn't work out well. Okay, Yatsek K, Hu, Hu He, and Aldor. 48 45 and other players scored over 40 Simon here my boy Simon well we didn't text a long time but look um, friends list is doing really really well hmm this is a little bit surprising to me because I don't think that I played um, like badly it was like free boards were really unlucky but okay, that's life. Sometimes uh, you don't have the day. Um, this time it was it. Uh, but you can learn from bad boards as well as what you can do from good boards. Thank you guys for watching. Um, enjoy the weekend and see you next week.